Hi, good afternoon. Hi. Hi. So, how are you? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, welcome to, yeah, welcome back to our best thing is sent FB Live. So, today we are going to talk about how to prevent our hearing aid from falling out, right? Yes. So, I uh, just want to ask uh, Nick and Patricia, did you have seen any patients complaining that uh, their hearing aids keep coming out, cannot fit properly, and also complaining that they have lost some of the hearing aids? So, what is your opinion about this issue? So, yeah, I've heard that. Okay. Yeah, maybe Nick can share. Okay, so I think I think there's a lot of patients patient who complains that their hearing aid is they lost their hearing aids or hearing aid is far from their ears. So firstly, I will talk about the BTE hearing aids or behind the ear hearing aid. So behind the ear hearing aid is commonly used by the by most of the patients because it is fit for the people of all ages and also almost any level of hearing aids. Yeah, almost at any level of hearing. So, what is uh, behind the ear hearing aids? So, uh, Patricia can show the picture. Yeah, I'm showing the okay, slide. Sure. Okay. okay, so, so BTE hearing aid is sits behind the ear, and that's why it calls behind the ear hearing aid. And there's a, a tube connected the hearing aid to the custom ear mold that fits in the ear canal. So, as you can see it from the picture. Compared to other type of hearing aids, the BTE hearing aid is a little bit bigger than the other types of hearing aid, and it is uh, invisible than other type of so. So, how to make sure that it fits properly and didn't fall from the ear? Okay, so firstly, is the length of the tubing. So, the one that with the error, so the length of the tubing, it cannot be too long or too short. It, it needs to be sit nicely on the top of the ear, and you can see whether it sit properly when you shake the when you shake your head your head. So when, even you shake up, down, right, left, so it still sit properly on the top of the ear. And if it's too long, it will be loose. And if it's too short, and it will cause the pain. So it's very important for the patient when they took the measurement of the tubing. After the measurement is done, so they need to, to tell the audiologist if the if the tubing is too short or too long, so that the audiologist can make adjustment uh, right on the spot. And then, so the tubing, dia makin nama tube tu dia akan mengeras. So when the tubing tu mengeras, so it's sign for the patient that it need to be changed because sometimes because the tube is hardened and it will pull out from the ear mold. So it need to be changed so that the patient, the ear aid will sit uh, on top of the ear uh, properly. And also for second is mostly BTE hearing aid, it will pair or use with the custom ear mold. So, okay, like this. So there's a few types of the uh, custom ear mold and it will depends on the level of the hearing of the patient. So sometimes um, patient will, they use soft ear mold and then some, some patients use hard ear mold or half ear mold, skeleton ear mold. And then the ear mold, it fits down the shape of the ear. So the, when, because they were, uh, we will take impression of the, of the ear of the patient so that it will follow the shape of the ear and then um, Patricia, can you please explain on how do we get the shape of the patient's ear? All right, Nick. So um, this is a process that we call it as ear impression. Okay. So it's just like the process of making the denture. Okay. It's the same. It's not a painful process. So now I'm going to show. Yeah. We will perform the ear it is, as I'm. It is not. Yeah, okay, uh, we will perform the ear examination using an otoscope, and then we will scope and look at the ear canals. Like, see, is there any scars and any ear wax? And look at the uh, ear canal curve and also our eardrum status. And then afterwards, we will insert a cotton stop here. If you can see here, okay, a cotton stop, 
okay, to know like how deep that we want the material to be in our ear canal and also preventing the material to be going in too deep. And next, yes. we will mix the material. So there will be a A and a B material. You can see different colors, a green and a white one. Okay, uh, different uh, different centers will have different colors. Lah. But most importantly, there's uh, two materials. So after you mix these materials, then it will get uh, hardened very fast. Okay, so immediately mixing immediately after mixing it, then you need to put into the syringe. to okay. inject the material into the ear. And once it gets hardened, you fill the ear and then after, afterwards it will get hardened like maybe less than uh, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you remove it from the ear. So this is the ear impression. So you can see now it, uh, we can get your ear shape. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you, Patricia. Okay. All right. So... So as you can see, from the ear impression, we also use it to we also use the same process for to make the custom made ear, custom made hearing aid. So from the picture, you can see there is a few types of the custom made hearing aid, which is CIC, ITC, half shell, and also ITE. So for the custom made ear mold, uh, it is it has better re uh, retention compared to the other types of hearing aids. Uh, which is BTE and the others, because it uh, follow the exact shape of the patient ears, so it fit per perfectly in the ear. But uh, the custom hearing aid is only suitable for the certain level of the hearing, hearing level, so it's not suitable for, uh, especially for patient who has severe to profound hearing aids, because uh, the power that the hearing aid uh, provide is not enough to cover the level of the hearing. And also, for the custom hearing aid, because it is small and also light, sometimes when patients take out the hearing aid and keep it and want to keep it, sometimes they they didn't do it very carefully because the, the hearing aid is small. So when you want to take out, when you want to put in, and when you want to keep it, you need to be really careful and really thorough during during that lah because most of the patients who were custom made hearing aids, most of them mostly complain because they lost the hearing aid because when take out or when they insert, they didn't do it carefully and because it is small, so it really hard to to trace back where the hearing aid when that you lose. And also for the BTA, uh, BTA user, sometimes most of the some some of the patients prefer to use it with the ear tips. Um, Okay, so the ear tips, uh, of course, it's easy to to put in and take out compared to the ear mold, but it's not fit uh, as fit as the ear mold, custom ear mold. And also for the ear tip, it's also only suitable for a certain level of hearing and it's not suitable for the severe to profound hearing loss because it will cause feedback. Uh, the feedback is caused because the, uh, the ear tip is not really fit into the opening of the ear canal. And also for the ear tip user, uh, the downside is the ear tip size is only come out for the come out in three sizes, which is S, M, and L. So for the ear tip user, it's really important to to find the right size that can, it cannot be too small and it cannot be too big for the for the ear canal because uh, just like I explained earlier, it will either we cause it back or it will easily come out from your from your ear and it will fall from your ears and also also um but uh, yeah people still can wear it yeah uh, it, but the most important one is how you put in and how you wear the hearing aids because sometimes patient also uh, cannot distinguish between the right or left hearing aid even though we take it so here we can see that for the right one yeah, is the red red is for the right and blue for the left so uh, patient needs to wear that because sometimes they just take it and put it uh, in yeah, yeah. So, and then they confuse. Eh, which one is right? Which one is left? So, so they need to remember that the blue is for left and red 
is for right and also for custom ilmu uh, they need to insert it properly because uh, follow the shape of the ear because if you didn't follow the shape of the ear it will easily come out from the ear and it will also cause pain to the ear because the shape is different and you can patient can see whether uh, the hearing aid is fitted properly when if they cause feedback or the ear is in pain that means that they didn't insert the proper insert the hearing aid properly lah okay so i think um that's for the bte and custom made hearing aids so i think patricia can explain for the next type of hearing aids okay so now uh just now nick already explained on the behind the ear style so we know that hearing it has other styles too such as this one so this is called a receiver in the canal hearing aid or receiver in the ear okay so it looks very delicate right yeah. okay so in, yeah. in short called as ric or rie okay so you can see this tiny part here this one with the curve yeah this is the one that will sit inside our ear this receiver that which is why we call it as a receiver in the canal hearing aids it's very small so when you uh hang where the hearing aids okay so this is how it looks like you see a just a, a very tiny wire here yeah. so you must be very concerned like will it stay in my ear will it drop easily we always receive this kind of questions from our customers when we suggest the RIC hearing aid to them. I'm sure that both Nick and Kamala have heard of it. Yes. Yeah. It's being asked by customers when you recommend this one, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So let me explain one by one on how to make sure that it can sit properly on your ear. So the first one is the length of the wire. Okay, so the length of the receiver. So from this picture, you can see that's uh, it consists of different lengths, okay, from the shortest to the long one, okay. So for in order for it to choose this, okay, it cannot be too long, or else it will be too loose for the patient. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, because if when it's too long, then when you bend, then the hearing will drop. But and then and if it is too short then uh, it will be too tight. So you'll, be feel, you'll feel pain over here. Normally, it's this side. Yes. It'll be very painful. Hmm? You can see that some a very reddish uh, pain spot here. Uh, if That's a sign that the receiver length is too short for the patient. Sorry. So we do have a measuring tool to measure the receiver length. Okay. So this is one of the examples of the tool. So we'll place the this uh, the cut on the ear. Then we'll see, okay, you can see this one, one, two, three, four, five, the numbering. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. The number of the, that's the number, the size of the receiver. So after choosing the uh, the length, then I'll always request my uh, customers to do a few things in order for us to make sure that the... Try to move your head left and right. So try to turn. Okay. It is still stay there. Okay, next one is try to uh, make side to side. Okay, move your head side to side towards your shoulder where it drops. Okay, then you check. And then another one, the third one is try to bend your body forward. Try to bend, see where it drops. Okay, so these are the most common three steps that I ask, request my customers to do it. Then we can know whether uh, do we get a good fit of the receiver length. After choosing the receiver length, the next thing that we need to take note is the dome size. Okay. So this rubber piece is what we call as a dome. Okay. Because it looks like a hemisphere. Okay. This is a dome. So as shown in the picture here, it consists of different sizes. You can see that's 11 mm up, and then here is 5 mm. It's different size. Yeah unique is different which is why we have so many uh, different sizes to accommodate and for different brands they have different patterns of the year dome 
But regardless of that, most importantly, you must get a very good fit dome. So, and then uh, if you look carefully in this picture, you can see there's a difference between a, the top and the bottom row. Yes. Because yes. uh, the, the bottom row has, uh, the domes have holes. You can see the holes yes. here. And this one don't have holes. Okay. With and without holes will provide you with a uh, different sound quality and also different acoustic experience. Yes. So, for this one, your hearing care professionals will choose for you. Okay, they'll choose for you according to your hearing level by referring to the hearing test that I've done for you. Okay. All right, so besides fitting your receiver in the ear, hearing it coupled with the dome, yes, now we showed this one. Yes. Yes, the dome. And couple it together with your receiver, like this one. And right, the photos on this one, huh? Okay, mm -hmm. so for receivers that's uh, covered with the ear mold, it will provide you with a more secured fit and also easier insertion for you and to prevent the amplified sound from being leaking out, which is called, which is what we call as a feedback. Okay, yes. because if it's not fit, then the amplified sound will leak out. Then you can you can hear some hissing sound like, like that. That means you didn't insert it properly mm -hmm. or your dome is too small, it doesn't fit well. Okay. That will also uh, put you in the risk that your hearing might fall out. Okay, so always talk to your hearing care professionals. Then we will customize the most suitable fit for you. All right. So you might ask, besides the receiver length and the dome size, is there any other options? Anything else that uh, we can provide for you? Yes, we can provide you with this retention wire. Okay. New, then it'll be straight. It's a straight uh, wire here. Okay, but after a while, when you start to wear it, then it will bend and, and have a curve. Okay, just follow your ear shape. What you need to do is just you wear the hearing aids and then you tuck the wire into your ear. This one. Okay, you can see this one, the curve. Yes. Okay, not to worry, it won't poke your ear. This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll demo to you how to wear the RIC hearing aids. I'll stop sharing my screen for a while. All right. Okay. All right. So this is the RIC hearing aids. Okay, and you can see this wire here. This is what I call just now as the retention wire. Okay. So the receiver and then this this piece here is a dome. Hmm. So you wear it. Okay, you wear it. So the hearing is now hang here. Okay, then this. So how does this retention wire prevent the hearing from falling out? Okay, just in case uh, you, this one, see ya, uh, when you remove your mask, okay? So sometimes this one might drop. Okay, but then um, with the retention wire, you can see the hearing is still here on your ear. Uh, Patricia, can you show us again? Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I think maybe my line stuck already. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so the hearing is in now. When you try to remove your mask, yes. so sometimes your hearing might fall out. Fall mm. off your ears, okay? okay? So you can see with the retention wire, it holds in your ear. So it won't drop. Okay. That's one of the safety measures. Lah. Hmm? Okay. okay, so okay. besides this one, the Kamala can share with us what are the other options, other alternatives that we have for the hearing wearer. Okay, so we have seen the styles and the features that help us to fit in the ear. But there are also accessories that are designed for the hearing aid to keep it in our ear and without falling out. So uh, the examples of features, I mean, sorry, accessories are stripes, bands, or hearing aid retention clips. But today I would like to show you uh, two examples. One is for the baby and also toddler, which is called Haki. So you can see it. Sorry. The point was on the okay, uh, can you see? Okay, yeah. um, to the right. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. 
Okay. So this is a high key. Yeah. So it's small, right? So this wire, we can cut it according to the length of the ear. So let's say this is the baby. Baby's ears too small, right? So you just put it here. Yes. And then you just cut it according to the length of here. And then there is a connector. So can you see the white thing? Yeah. It's white thing. So you can just yeah. connect it. So connect it to the ear. So if I want to show you with this demo. Uh, Yeah, because baby's ear is quite small, so sometimes yeah. they cannot hold the hearing aid uh, with. So we need the huggies to hold it. Yeah, so which is something like this. Lah. So this one is the ear more, you can just fit it inside. So it looks something like this. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if the babies or like like roll up, roll up on and like go shaking or just running, so it won't fall off. And then the second one is the clip cord. So the clip cord. So this one is the clip cord. So I've got two holes here. There are also another type which is we call ear gear, but it comes with a, how to say, it's like a cloth. Lah. But for now, I just show you this clip cord. This one. So let's say we have a hearing it with more. So you just take it off. Okay, so you just insert this inside here and then make it until it's, you feel secured with the clip cord and the hearing it. Then you just insert back the YAMO. Okay, can you see? Yes. Okay. Uh, Is it clear? Yes. Maybe show it slightly higher. Yeah, yeah we can see. Can I? Okay. Yeah. So this one's here. So you can just wear it. Wear it. Yeah, this one can use for children and also adults. So because our customer mostly even uh, school children or so even elderly also are using this clip cord. So it'll be secure for them. Lah. If it drop out also, okay, let's see. I'm wearing this. Okay, let's see I'm wearing. And I can just tuck this in my collar. Okay, just a moment. Okay. Can you see this? You just open it with this and you just put it on your collar, on your clothes anywhere. Okay, let's say it just drop out, but it still stays here, so it won't lose. So mm -hmm. this one will be more secure. Lah. Uh -huh. Okay, besides this. Okay, there are a few accessories, but this one is the most basic one most of our customers use, right? I hope Nick and Patricia also got to see many of these clip cards, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, even though there are accessories, but still, uh, hearing it users are worried for current situation because due to the COVID-19, and even though, yeah, yeah that's why. <laughs> so, even though we are heading towards the endemic, but still, we have to wear masks right indoors. So, yeah, I have some tips. Huh, so, I have some tips. To show the hearing aid users, how can you wear the mask with hearing aid? Okay, so the first one is we call it ATM rule. Not ATM machine, this one is ATM rule. Meaning that eight, then mask. So let's say if I wear a mask like this, then I eight. If I take it off, huh? It can drop right. Yes. So we have to wear the eight first, like this. Then you wear a mask. If you're in a rush, you can take off, but it still stays here. So you have to follow this rule. Okay, let's see if some can ask me, like, oh, what if I wear specs? How to do it? Still the same. The mask should be the last. So wear your spec, wear your eight, then wear your mask. So it'll be safer for you. Lah. So the second one is with a hair clip. Okay, let's say uh, if you're a girl or even a, a children. Lah. Okay, I bought a fancy clip here so that you can see. Wow. <laughs> so just 
<laughs> oh, so pretty. Just put it, yeah. So just put it in a mask like this. Something like this. So I'm wearing my head here, my hearing aid. Okay, so I just clip it. Can you see? Here, on top. Yes. So it's not touching my head. So I just wear it like this. Huh. So it's mm -hmm. safer for me. So I just can just take out my mask by just taking off my clip. Huh. Like, just like that. So the hearing is just safe there in my ear. Okay, the next one is hearing it with straps. I hope you got guys got see this one right. Yeah. Uh, see the Islam two dong they were well, right. Huh. So yeah. this one also <laughs> more safer because it won't touch your hearing it. So by wearing this, you can just put it over. Huh. Oh my god. Okay. So you can see my ear is here and the look is on top. It is here. So the hearing cannot sound code lah. Cannot sound code here lah. Okay. And the last one. Okay, the last one is since we are a girl or even a, a guy with a long hair or so, they can just tie a ponytail like this and then they can just crisscross. So you just wear your mask. Okay. This look over here. Okay, hope can you see this? Oh, okay. Ah. So just so like ponytail to hold the mask. Yeah, the ponytail just hold the loop here, so you don't have to touch the hearing aid and it won't sound good also. So these are a few tips. So you can try and see like if you are scared, so scared of your hearing is dropping or what. So these are the few tips you can try when you go out or maybe in your indoors. Just try and see. Hope this works for you lah. Okay, so maybe after this, I hope that no one have a fear of losing their hearing aid or not having their active lifestyle because you are wearing hearing aid, meaning that you cannot run or do anything. So with these tips, I hope you can enjoy your life and be active, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay, so we had seen and we had heard about how to prevent our hear aid from fall from off fall of the ears. Okay, so uh, I think uh, it it is the the pressure of the patient who wear the hear aids because sometimes they didn't know how to you know yeah. how to do how to handle that problem and sometimes they just okay i lose it so that's all so i think uh the prevention is very important for them and also uh it's uh, re re really important for the new patient who will wear here is also because they also know uh, before they they buy it uh, and also so on uh, and also uh Patient uh, who had uh, hearing loss, sometimes they didn't know what's the importance of the hearing aids itself. Yeah. So I think, uh, uh, yeah, because they think, hmm, kenapa perlu pakai? Saya, saya pun dah agak tua. Dah tua so, dah. Uh, <laughs> saya dah tua, so saya, saya tak perlukan sangatlah alat untuk bantu dengar tu. So I think uh, we, it's really important for them to wear hearing aids even though they are at the least because it's really help them in the for them to hear better of course and also help them in the communication because when they at home sometimes their kids or uh, grandchildren they need to shout when they call or speak with them so with the hearing aids they just can talk normally without uh, raising their voice and also they can hear yeah, and so people, people also didn't think that ah, kenapa rumah tu selalu jerit-jerit, marah-marah. Uh, <laughs> like quarreling between so, spouses. Yeah, <laughs> so macam kenapa selalu jerit-jerit. Uh, okay, so bila dah pakai alat, so kita akan cakap secara normal balik lah. And then um, nak dengar TV ke, nak dengar radio and even nak cakap phone pun uh, it, dah tak perlu perlu jerit-jerit lah. And also with the hearing aids uh, for the 
I think uh, for the teens or 20, 30 people, I think the hearing aid is really important because they need to socialize and sometimes they, because of the hearing issues, they tend to uh, isolate themselves from the so so uh, society. So I think the hearing aid will, in, will help them in terms of that and also improve their quality of life. Lah. And also for the for patient who, you know, interested in buying or use or wear hearing aid, so they can go to the uh, to our nearest branch, okay, and then right now we have a promotion for the parent days and in the promotion is from bulan lima until bulan enam and I think it's only have around 20 more days so I think so they better you know hurry and go to the our nearest branch for the promotion I think because the promotion is quite uh, benefit for them so because of the we had different kind of offer for the different ages and thing it's really helped them in buying the hearing aids because uh, it really uh, in terms of financial I think it's really helped them I think I think, I think that's all from us so we can continue with the Q&A session or Patricia or Kamala want to add anything yeah, regarding the promotion, we only have another 22 days left. Yeah. So this is the best time for you to come uh, to, to us to get a hearing test, to get a hearing tested, okay? To get some consultation on the hearing aids for you to understand and for you to try out whether the hearing aids helps you or not. Okay? Because we wear hearing aids to improve our communication. So you can just come to any of our nearest brands. Yeah, because yes, yeah. all states, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, all states. So, we, we in all states, we have at least one. So, you can just yeah. come to us, contact us. You can just write down your comments here, PM, then our team will reply to you shortly. Okay, yeah, okay. I think that's all from us. So, can we open for a QA session? Yes, we welcome any comments, any questions. Okay. <gasps> Alright, so we have one question. Uh, hi, saya nak tanya, kalau parent dah ada hearing aid, tapi diorang jarang pakai sebab tak selesa. Apa yang patut saya buat? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, I'll answer first. So, yang first ni, okay. First, kita kena suruh parent tu datang dekat centre. And I think we need to give a sound? consultation first. Yeah. Mm, is it because of the sound of the, the sound quality of the hearing aids, or is it because of the physical uncomfort? Mm. Like, macam yang kita kata, ah, uh, dia pakai hearing aid, dia takut hearing aid tu jatuh, hilang, so dia tak pakai. Ah, mm. uh, so those are the things that we need to investigate. Ah, uh. yeah. Okay. And also maybe we can do it after the adjustment if they still don't want to wear, maybe we can consult them with the importance. They might listen to us, right? Because to yeah. the children, they might not listen. So we as a professional, maybe we can consult them. Yeah. Okay. I think you can bring to the nearest branches last so that your parents can get to wear the hearing aid. Okay. Yes, maybe Cik Amiru will uh, PM us later, like which uh, area that your parents are staying. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then we will reply you, like, we'll suggest you like to go to her. Because okay. we do okay. carry brands uh, in our hear uh, best hearing centers. So mm -hmm. if we have the brands, then we can try to uh, do a hearing test, a new hearing test for your parent. And then we try to uh, readjust, do some adjustment, fine tuning to your parent. Okay. 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 So we got second question. If walking for consultation got charges, um, for walking, uh, there's no charges except if you want to get the report. Mm, yeah. So the hearing yeah. test is free. only for the uh for hearing test is free except for the report uh for. 
but uh, I think it's better if you call first and make the appointment because we didn't want patient to wait for a long time because yeah. the hearing test uh, itself is taking taking Quite like 40 to yeah, 40 minutes to one hour so I think it's better for you to call first and then just come when uh, the time for the appointment lah. So for the third question, uh, ada tak hearing aids yang boleh detect location sekiranya uh, hearing aid hilang? Okay. okay, so there are hearing aids like Livio, Livio AI and also currently we are having Evolve. So through the apps, you can also detect your hearing aid. Like when is your last uh, place that you, you lost the hearing aid? Lah. So there are apps and also but most of it, you have to have a iPhones and also Samsung with the current one, right? The Samsung here, uh, handphones. Yeah, a few Android brand, uh, phones yeah, that yeah. are compatible to the apps, yeah. And mm -hmm. this one is uh, for these features to detect uh, the, your hearing it. This one is available in the Starkey brand, okay? Yeah. So if you have concern like, oh, your parents maybe lost their hearing aids once before okay yeah so for this we yeah, yeah. so that you can you detect can it. it yeah okay <laughs> any other questions Okay, so this is the Enchi Amirul that asked question just now. So my parent in Taiping got branch. Huh? Yes, we have a branch in Taiping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe after this, uh, our team will contact you, Mr. Amirul, and provide you with the numbers to contact our audiologist. Yeah, and also the location. Maybe you can come there. Lah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have a branch in Taiping. Okay. Okay. Any any other question from questions? Okay. If no, then I think I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all the questions. So if you still have any question, you can just DM us through Messenger. So our team will contact you, lah. Yes. If you need any further clarification, mm. hmm? okay, or on about the promotion, you can just contact us. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. So I think that's all for today. FB Live. Mm. Okay, so we will announce our next FB Live in this best hearing page show. So so you just stay tuned to our next FB Live. So it will be carry out on uh, Wednesday. Okay, yes. not every Wednesday, but okay, you just stay tuned to our FB. We will announce and post up our poster there. Yeah. Okay, yes. and just follow our FB live to get more, to educate yourself on more about this hearing aids, on hearing. Okay, but if you miss our live, you can uh, rewatch it because we will post, we we'll post it again, yeah. So you can just go to our page and rewatch it. Lah. Yeah. Yeah. So I, can learn more. So I think that's all right. Okay. Huh. All right. So bye, everyone. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.